hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 8 block series so guys now in this we are going to uh, check the responsive of this blog website okay now we are going to make this navbar as sticky and let's check all the responsive thing in a desktop view and in your mobile view also okay so guys now let's begin with the first navbar side so let's make this navbar as sticky top first let's go okay let me close all the files so here you move on your front end navbar and okay so now guys let me just take out this div and paste here all done so this will be your top select with one div and here you are going to paste so now guys let's add a class over here sticky top so yep and now let's refresh so here when you scroll it's sticking at the top okay so perfect and here you see no background color so let me set it to white and uh, yep so now guys let's uh, get back and let's refresh okay so now let's check with the everything is looking fine guys let's move on laravel here insert data into database using laravel let's open this post so now guys here you see that responsiveness is done but uh, when you code when you paste all the code it doesn't look like responsive okay so let me just show you one demo so let's go to the post post view and here is our laravel 8 edit okay so yep now if you copy and just paste and update okay so if you see here it comes in responsive website but if you try to paste your code exactly the code okay so let's come back and go to your editor so i want some laravel add code right so let us take that create post code Control a copy and paste that here so now here is your code pasted so you can just tell step one create blade file and paste below code okay so now guys let's update it update post perfect post updated and you can get back here and now let's refresh this so you see some difference so you can see here guys that it's coming out of the box right so it's not responsive it's it's out of your card body so to make this responsive just add a two line of code okay so let's get back here is your description code so let's copy this and get back so first let's go to our css file asset css and custom.css which is already linked with our application okay so we paste here now guys where this description is should be called we can tell as post description let's copy this and you can just go to which view at this page okay tutorial category and the post let's go to routes and check the path so tutorial here's a tutorial category and the post let's go to the front end at which function view post okay so let's confirm it here you can see view post so at this view post you are going to this blade file let's move on it so here our description comes so you just need to add this post description class in your blade so this class should be added over here and now let's refresh so here you get all the code it is inside okay so when you scroll it it comes like this done so it's in a responsive way but now guys over here you see that your background color black that background code it's not responsive right 
So guys, for that, I have just written one small code where we can apply it and make it very good view. So here is the code. Let me copy and get back to your custom .css and paste here. Okay, all done. So this is the code, guys, and let's copy this class name and where you have to paste this in your post view. Okay, I mean, let's go to your edit post and here is one. Let's make this full screen. Okay let's go to the code view here is your code view but it's very hard to search that so you can just give ctrl f and just type rgb which comes your black color code over here okay so what i'm going to add do that just add the class of postcode bg okay so just leave it and let's make it back so yep update and now if you see over here here is the change okay so you can see that it comes in perfect round area and it's in responsive so if you just move on with that it comes inside your data if you want to show on the admin also here like when you paste that it should reflect over here so you just need to add that code let me copy this and you can paste in your admin side okay so where is our master resource views layouts master blade and let me just add that here so if you refresh you get that output here also okay so whenever you you can check like this and start your code so guys uh, we have done with this also and now let me just show you check with the mobile view all done let's go to mobile view so here we set let's go to the home page okay so if you don't want this logo in mobile view guys and instead of that you want that logo at this nav bar right so you can just add that also so let's get back and go to your front end nav bar and here we on this let's add display none on mobile but on desktop view we have to display it right so let's display in line and we don't need on tablet also so let's hide that same code let's take this but uh, now coming to the navbar part let's make that navbar first a dot navbar brand yep and here it will be a navbar so let's save and first let us see the output guys for this refresh cool so you can see that that above logo is hidden and here is your nav bar let me just see on the desktop view the logo is shown right but this is also is visible let's hide this first so you can just copy the same code and just do the vice versa okay so inside this nav bar brand you need to add display inline here and display none for the tablet and okay let's show for the tablet also but in laptop view i mean desktop view it should be hidden okay now you refresh here you see that navbar is hidden okay perfect so let's inspect back for the mobile responsive here you see the navbar so now guys instead of navbar you can paste your logo also so let me just show you the demo okay let's copy this and paste so we are going to remove this don't keep in percentage guys make sure you are keeping in a pixel wise okay so width which will be like let me keep it to 140 pixel 
So now refresh. Cool. So you can see the logo and here your collapse button comes. Okay. So now guys uh, coming to this uh, carousel part, let's view in two, two columns, not in one. Okay. So you can just get back to your JS. Okay. So where it is, let's go to resource views front end and our main file index blade and this is our carousel okay so category carousel where it will be on the app so you can just go below and here is our category carousel and on the mobile responsive i want to keep as two items to show so now if you refresh here you get the two two columns perfect so now guys let's see below in the mobile responsive looking pretty cool yep and now let me just go on with the ph laravel tutorials let's click on it insert data here you see here is a post done that's it so guys, we have seen that uh, with the front end side and now you can just check out in your admin dashboard also. Okay, so let's inspect this also and check for the responsiveness. First, let's uh, okay, here you see there is no responsive for the post view. Let's set this also to responsive. So guys, let's get back to master blade okay so resource views admin and for the post we are going on the index blade so here is our table right so this table is not responsive so you have to add that bootstrap class that is table responsive table responsive let's cut this div and paste save it now if you refresh here your output comes so all set guys i have just refreshed it so everything looks fine and here is your view button okay and now let's go to this sidebar here you see all its view first let's move to dashboard okay looking better and now let's move to add category part okay it's perfect responsive let's go back and view category so here is our view category which is not responsive okay let's set this also to responsive here view category let me copy this class first and go to index of category and paste that div so copy and paste all set refresh here you get your category data done guys so now you can just check out the same thing with your user table also so it's not responsive just set that to responsive also so user refresh perfect so you get this data now let's see with the logout let's log out over here you go to your home page perfect so guys we have successfully completed the responsiveness of our blogging website in laravel application so guys now let's see you in next video with the new topic of this blogging series so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share